Hi, everyone. We've got a question from a fellow boater named Mark. Uh, Mark asks, Jeff, my boat is on a mooring buoy for the season, and it's possible that it might sit for, say, two weeks. Okay, that's the setup. All right, let's go with some questions. Does the battery combiner draw current for the operation when no charge is present? Furthermore, would the battery combiner be drawing from either battery during that time? And also, does it matter which terminal on the ACR gets connected to the engine battery with an alternator and house battery? Okay, lots of questions. I'll try to answer them uh, as uh, good as I can. First question is, yes, a battery combiner, uh, even when the batteries are not in parallel, is effectively sensing voltage. And that sensing of the voltage on either post of your battery combiner does draw power. Yes. So it would be possible to disconnect or disable that battery combiner by removing the negative connection. Um, and generally that negative connection is fused so that your uh, battery combiner is completely disabled uh, when you're at, at a mooring ball. Now, mind you, the it's milliamps. I don't think it's measured in amps. It's very small draw, but small draws do add up considering it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, especially on a mooring ball where you have no ability to recharge your batteries from shore power. Uh, would the ACR draw batteries from either battery bank because an ACR is connected to two? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I think... At that point, it's probably choosing one of the two that would allow the battery combiner to work. Because as we know, battery combiners um, really are, in most cases, not all cases, but most of them are bi-directional. And so I would think that the battery combiner is going to be looking at battery voltage from both. Because even if one battery is not dead, but pretty empty, the battery combiner still works. So... Based on evidence of behavior, I would say that it's sensing from or taking power from either is what I would guess. Uh, also, does it matter which terminal the ACR gets connected to? Well, if it's a bi-directional combiner, the answer is no, right? Meaning if current can go from engine battery to house and from house to engine, then it doesn't matter. But there are some battery combiners out there that are directional. What does that mean? It means that the current can only go from, let's say, engine or to house, but not from house to engine. In that case, if you have a directional battery combiner, and Blue Seas makes them, and Echo, for example, Xantrex Echo Charger is another one that's directional, then yes, absolutely. Which battery connects to which is definitely going to matter because the flow of the current can only happen in one way. And so that's basically a little recap on battery combiners. Thanks, Mark, for asking, and thanks all of you for tuning in. I appreciate it.